Hey guys, in this video, we're going to go over line of credit, all the accounting to, uh, around line of credit, how to set it up, how to record transactions to and from line of credit, and how to reconcile it. So let's go over the first step, which is setting up the line of credit account in QuickBooks. Okay, we'll go to chart of accounts, click on new. Let's call it Chase line of credit and the last four of my line of credit uh, account number. Account type is going to be other current liabilities and detail type is going to be line of credit. Okay, no opening balance to be entered, nothing. And that's it, save. This is how you set up your line of credit. Now line of credit is an account I do not like connecting with my bank uh, because in some instances, depending on which bank you're using, uh, the numbers get flipped. So all the money taken out from line of credit goes into the other side where the payments were made towards line of credit and vice versa. So I don't like uh, connecting my um, connecting it to the uh, bank feeds section. And plus most of the transactions that go in and out of line of credit, they get recorded through your bank account anyway, because most of the time the line of credit is receiving money from and sending money to your business bank accounts which are already connected to the bank feeds 90% of the time. So let's get started with the uh, transaction recording part now. And so first type of transaction that we're going to record is when you pull the money out from your line of credit. Okay, so this is the advance from line of credit. Okay, so we're going to go to our bank account. As I said, you know, business bank account should have these most of these transactions anyway. So we'll go to our business bank account and we will look for these transactions. So first of all, I know on June 1st, I pulled the money out, $10,000 from my line of credit. So this is the first method where we are assuming that your bank account is connected to QuickBooks. Uh, QuickBooks Online, I will go over another method too where you have to enter these transactions manually, completely manually for people who do not like connecting their bank accounts to bank feeds. Okay, so transaction date was 6-1. I can enter it as a transfer from between my accounts. So I can record it as a transfer. Transferred from. It's, we just created this account, Chase line of credit. It's a plain transfer from line of credit account to my business bank account. If you wanna add any other memo, you can. If not, just add it. Okay, so we have recorded the transaction where the money is coming in from line of credit account to our bank, uh, bank account. Okay, second type of transaction is when bank charges us interest on line of credit, uh, amount that we have pulled out from line of credit. This transaction doesn't involve any bank account or credit card account, so we have to make a journal entry for this. So we'll click on new and journal entry. We'll pick the date. Now my tra my statement ends on 15th, so this is the date they're gonna sh my statement is gonna show for the interest. I can say interest expense line of credit. And this is for June 15th or just June. Okay. Then I am debiting my interest. I'm increasing my interest expense for $250, let's say. And I can say description here, interest expense on line of credit for June 2024. And this is with Chase Bank. So I'm entering Chase Bank name here. Then I have this account LOC. When when I'm charged interest, my, my line of credit balance goes up. So I'm entering Chase Bank here, save and close. So I've recorded the interest now. Now, as I said, my statement ends on 615 and I have not made any payment between June 1st and June 15th. Uh, I have to reconcile my, bank, uh, my, credit, my line of credit account now. So let's reconcile the account. You're gonna pull your line of credit statement. You're gonna go here and click on reconcile. Get started. A lot of people think it's okay to not reconcile line of credit account. Uh, that's not true. Just like bank accounts, just like credit card accounts, you must reconcile your loan and line of credit accounts too. So we're gonna we're gonna start reconciling. Okay, Chase line of credit. We begin with the zero balance. Yes, um, and then we pull some money out, and then at the end of. Uh, so on June 15, 2024, my statement says it's 10,250. That's the balance I have. So 
let's enter the date. Start reconciling. Okay, perfect. And yes, I know we don't need this. Okay, I'm going to select all this, uh, all the transactions. Yes. So if the difference is zero, then my account is reconciled. So and I see all the transactions. So I'm going to look at my line of credit statement. And I'm going to look at my QuickBooks and make sure that all the transactions have been recorded for. Yes, they have been. So I'm going to finish it now. That's it. Another important thing to do is once you reconcile the account, when you reconcile the account, go to history by account and actually attach your statement here. You can browse for the statement and attach it here. Okay, so we're done with... Uh, we're done with first month of reconciliation. Let's go to bank transactions again. Now, let's go through another scenario where I'm making a payment towards line of credit. So when you go to my bank here, payment to LLC. So this is the transaction where I'm paying 20 to 50 towards my line of credit balance. So I'll go here. Again, I can record it as a transfer and I can say LLC 001. So that's it. So I made the payment. Now, this payment was made on July 1st. Now, when I reconcile July 15th um, statement, um, they, they, that would include another interest expense as well for July 15th. So let's record that too. So what I normally do is I would just go back to my interest expense entry that I have done before. Uh, since I just did it, I can find it here. So I'm going to go to the journal entry and I'm going to make a copy of it. That saves a lot of time. So copy. And this time they have charged me interest expense July. Okay, this time they have charged me $195 as interest for July. You can put exact dates here too if you want, like 615 to July 15, whatever makes sense for you. Save and close. Okay. Now, two transactions occurred in this period. Um, I made a payment of twenty to fifty towards my um, line of credit, and then I was charged an interest of uh, one ninety five. So my balance is going to be eighty one ninety five. So let's reconcile this account with eighty one ninety five as ending balance. Click on the gear icon, reconcile eighty one ninety five, and my statement ending date is July fifteenth. Again, look at the statement. Make sure that all the transactions have been accounted for. Yes, and finish now. Once it's zero, the difference is zero, you click um, reconcile. Okay, we're done with this rec uh, reconciliation of uh, Chase LOC. Okay, this is how you set up the account. You record the transactions towards line of credit and reconcile the account. Now, as I said, I do want to go through the method where if your bank account is not connected with QuickBooks bank feeds, then I do want to show you how to enter it manually. So let's say you pull the money out from, um, from your line of credit. So we'll click on new. Click on transfer. You'll pick your line of credit account. And you will pick the account where the money went. Transfer amount, whatever the amount was. And you'll put a memo like money being transferred from line of credit to the business bank account and save and close. Now there's another another transaction interest expense transaction stays the same, doesn't matter if you do it manually or through bank fee section. Uh, another type of transaction would be where you are paying the money back. So in that case, you will pick the bank account as transferred from, and transfer to would be the line of credit account. So that's how you would record the payment to line of credit manually. Okay, so I think we have covered everything regarding line of credit. And uh, if you are having any other issue with line of credit accounting in QuickBooks Online, uh, do comment below and let me know. And I will definitely make a video on that. Um, okay, thank you and happy accounting.